Elorans, truly for some men, nothing is written unless they write it. Omar Sharif, the legendary Egyptian actor best known for his roles in Lawrence of Arabia and Dr. Shivago, has long stirred religious controversies for the characters he plays on screen. A convert to Islam himself, Sharif was even issued a death threat by radical Muslims after playing the part of St. Peter in an Italian film. We talked to Sharif about his religion, his future, and life on the road. I'd like to begin by asking you how you got your start in acting. I got extraordinary luck in my life, extraordinary luck. I was born to a family which was okay, they had a bit of money. And my mother was there for me all the time because at that time women did not work. So she was there for me all the time. And my mother was kind of uh, nutty. She was not very cultured. For instance, I went to a French school because my mother didn't speak English. She, she was a, brought up in French sort of schools. And one day when I was 11, I became fat. And my mother went crazy. She said, my son is ugly, he's fat. What am I going to do with him? And she thought, where is the worst food in the world? And she thought, English food. And she sent me to this English school, in a boarding English school. And of course, I became very thin. I, I couldn't compare this, the food I had there to the food I had at home. There was a, a theater at school. And at age 13, they gave me my first part in the theater, and I enjoyed it. The third thing is I learned English, which was very important to my career. When they came to take me for Lawrence of Arabia, if I didn't speak English, I would not have had the part. And that's how I became an actor. If I had stayed fat, if I had not learned English, if I had not had a theater at school, I would be a timber merchant like my father. Your career has really had a major revival in the last, in the last handful of years. And yeah, I never stopped working. I mean, I worked, I, I started in 1953, my first film I made. And uh, from 1953 till now, I never stopped working. I did a lot of um, um, small parts. And you know, when you're old, it's very difficult to get leading parts at my age. Although I have been getting leading parts recently because the subject is right. The last film I made is, is about a, an old man with Alzheimer's disease. So that fits for me extremely well. Do you feel less constrained when you're acting in English or French than you do when you're acting in Arabic? Uh, yes, I prefer English. Uh, that's, that's the language that I prefer acting in because it's very economical. You know, words like why, wonderful, or yes. It's much better than Ewa and Li. When you act in English, you can be still. You don't have to move your head. You can speak to someone like that. And when you just do that, it changes the whole what meaning of what you're saying. And then you go back and say, but my son, I told you, don't do this. Because if you do this, it's going to happen. So these just, but we gesticulate with our heads so much we, the Italians, the French, all of us, we do it. That's the first thing David Lean taught me. He said, Omar, please, when you're doing a close shot, don't move your head. You just have to stay like that. And if you move it, it's got to mean something. Not just moving it, to move it. You've made a renewed focus in, in recent years to, to talk, to touch on the religious issues. Yes, yes. What, What's prompted you to do that? It, the, the, the stuff, because one, when one sees what happens in the world between the religions, the different religions, killing each other and murdering each other, it's, dis, it's disgusting. As far as I'm concerned, it's ridiculous. And so I thought I might be useful. I believe in God and I believe in religion. But religion should belong to you. The extraordinary thing is that the Jews believe that only the Jews can go to paradise. The Christians believe only the Christians can go to paradise. And the Muslims believe only the Muslims can go to paradise. Now, why should God, in his great justice, make somebody born that cannot go to paradise? Why? It's absurd. 
I mean, I'm sorry to say that. Please forgive me, by God. I don't mean to say it's absurd. I just say people made it absurd. When you, in your films, point out, uh, point a finger at these religious differences, like I said in Hassan and Marwa, saying yes. funny girl, yeah. um, there's always uh, people who get upset with it. Yeah, they get upset. But I know they're going to get upset, but I don't mind. I know what I'm doing, and I, I want to do it. And if people didn't get upset, I, didn't, I wouldn't feel brave. I wouldn't feel that I was courageous. I'd love to talk about the lifestyle you've chosen. Well, it comes from, I'm unique in, 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 in my profession. Every other actor has got a base, a base, a country where you work. And from there, sometimes you have a location on in another country or somewhere else. But you have a home. I don't, I, every film I make is in a different place. I, when I make a film, I have to go to southern France, like I was in southern France. After that, I have a film in America. I had films in India I made, in Yugoslavia I made, in Russia I made two films. I don't enjoy traveling a lot, I'll tell you the truth. I would rather have a base, a real base, but not, uh, not, uh, not a flat. Because when you get old and you live alone, I don't have a companion. Uh, and therefore, uh, to live alone when you're old in a flat or in an apartment, it's, uh, it's not fun, you know. And if anything happens, you're always worried something can happen to me and I, I have to call for urgently someone, I wouldn't know how to do it. So the concierge, you know, you just call the concierge, send me all the ambulances and reserve all the hospital rooms in the hospitals. What do, you, what do you see in the next couple of years for yourself? Uh, uh, ask me what I see in the next couple of hours. That's all. I believe, when, I, when you are young, I believe you should think of the future. When you're old, you should not think of the future and you should not think of the past. You should concentrate of, on the moment you are living because you don't know how long you have. And you can't waste time remembering things. I don't remember anything. I don't want to remember. I remember things that my mother and my daddy did, the, the ones I told you, because this is part of my will. I mean, I can't avoid remembering it. But other things, like which film, which, which scene, which is so unimportant, means nothing to me. All the films I made mean nothing to me. They have disappeared from my mind. I think of what I'm doing now. When I'm making an interview, I concentrate on my interview, and that's true. I don't know what's late after. I know I have an appointment there, and I have to go to dinner with some people, and that's all. <laughs>